Okay, so this video is for AMP2. Uh, this is the part on the kidney. As you can see, there's three parts. So this video is going to be on the large anatomy, gross anatomy of the kidney. So starting with A, this is the cortex region of the kidney. Letter B, that's gonna be the medulla region of the kidney. Letter C down here, oh, can't see it, there we go, is these are going to be your minor calyces, which are gonna drain each of your renal pyramids, which is V. And they're going to join together into what we call a major calyx, and there's several of those. They join together and all of the major calyces are going to drain into E which is going to be the renal pelvis so this region you know where they all kind of come together and then they're going to exit the kidney through F which is the ureter okay what else do we have on here next one that we have is I this is a renal column so this is a column which is different than the pyramids. So these are just kind of the regions between some of these pyramids. So the columns are between the pyramids. The pyramids are darker. Now the top of the pyramid, and here's the bottom of the pyramid. So pyramid, column. The pointy part of the pyramid here, which is W. This is a W, it's not an M. So this is a W. That's what the dot is. So this is the renal papilla, so kind of the mountain top. So top of papilla maybe, helps you remember that. All right, so that's as far as the gross anatomy goes. Now let's look at the blood vessels. So coming into the kidney, this is letter Y, this is gonna be your renal artery. Exiting the kidney is gonna be the renal vein. Now, once you get into the renal artery, I don't know if you can see very well, this is a letter Z, it's not an N. This is called a segmental artery. So it's gonna break into segments that's going to go, so here's some segmental arteries. So renal artery breaks into segments. From the segments, it's going to break off and it's gonna go up through the medulla between, so up the columns, between um, the pyramids. So here, these are called interlobar, interlobar. So think of these as kind of like lobes of the kidney. I know it's not, but so this is going up the medulla, in up the renal columns in between the pyramids. So this would be the interlobar arteries. Then we go across, so cutting across the top of the renal pyramid so this is right between the cortex and the medulla letter bb these are called arcuate artery and veins vessels no so not you can say oh these are arcuate because they make the arch and then up here in the cortex these really really tiny vessels so the arteries and veins here these are called interlobular so interlobar interlobular 